okay in this problem i am going to solve the problem number 7.4 the problem is so the memory cycle timing waveforms for write and read operation separately we have to make two timing waveforms assume that cpu clock of 50 megahertz and a memory cycle time of 50 nanosecond that means the cpu is clocked at 50 megahertz from here we have to find out the time duration for each clock or time period of each clock pulse and we have to consider 50 nanosecond of memory cycle time we are given that the clock frequency is this f means frequency frequency of the cpu is 50 megahertz so the time period of the cpu that is denoted by capital t okay is equal to 1 by f cpu 1 by f cpu means 50 megahertz sorry this is plus 6 50 megahertz okay so here we'll have 20 nanosecond that means the time period of each clock cycle of the cpu is 20 nanosecond so first of all let us draw the right operation i mean diagrams okay so here we'll have this is the cpu clock so we have already found that it has a time period of 20 nanosecond so each clock this is the cpu clock so each clock that is from this one to zero so this time duration of this clock cycle is 20 nanosecond so here we have this memory address and for these three periods three clock periods this memory address will be valid so we know that for the given system the memory cycle time is 50 nanoseconds so we have to keep this address valid for 50 nanoseconds so here we have 20 another 20 that will be 40 plus up to here it is 50 but at this negative edge it will not sense okay this memory address will be available for three clock cycles then we have this memory enable so whenever we get a high signal here this memory access will be enabled next we have this read or write cycle in the first case we have considered this write operation so we have to keep this low okay keep this read or write operation we have to keep this low for this 50 nanoseconds so up to here okay so up to here we have to keep this low that means whenever we have this read or write signal high it will read okay whenever we have this low it will write and for the second case that we will consider later on we will keep the read or write signal high for this 50 nanosecond here we have this write operation therefore we have kept it low so this data input also will be active for these three clock cycles here we can see that for this memory address and the data input we have two cross couple lines okay that means whenever we have a low here we have one also here this means that we have memory address in terms of many inputs okay it may be a 2-bit memory address or 3-bit or 5-bit 10-bit 20-bit it can be anything this memory address will be denoted by only 1 and 0 okay that means the ones will be represented by this line and the zero will be represented by this this line the two lines that crosses each other in the address and the data waveform designate a possible change in value in multiple lines similarly we have to see the read operation so now we will see the memory cycle timing waveforms for the read cycle so here we can see that we also have here 20 nanosecond of this clock period here we have this memory address it will be same as previous one okay up to this three clock cycle it will be active okay address will be valid then we have this memory enable memory enable will be active for this 50 nanosecond of time from here up to here okay because we know that in the question it is given that the memory cycle time is 50 nanoseconds so memory enable timing will be 50 nanosecond okay starting from here it will go to here okay at this middle point so here we have 50 nanosecond of memory enable here it will start initiating the read whenever we have one value here it will start reading the memory then we have a read or write operation so in the second case we have considered this read cycle so we will keep this read or write signal high then we have this data input so here we'll have a valid data input okay so this is the solution of the problem number 7.4 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you